Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDectic with a new video tutorial on how to make a health kit app with Ionic and NG Cordova. So, we will make use of the iOS health kit, which was released uh, in the iOS 8 SDK, and we will use the NG Cordova wrapper for the Cordova plugin and make a simple health kit app to set our body data and to submit a workout session. So let's start with a simple blank Ionic app. Okay, so when we're done we need to install ng cordova and we need a little plugin but okay it's finished so as i said we need ng cordova installed and we will add this plugin so you can find it in my tutorial or on the page of ng cordova and obviously you can only use this tutorial for ios because android does not have anything similar to the health app or nothing i know if there's anything you can tell me <laughs> So I'm on the Mac, so I'm going to add the iOS platform and I'm going to prepare the iOS platform. Okay, perfect. So to use ng Cordova as usual, we need to include the script file before the Cordova JS I guess it's there. Yes, ng Cordova dist ng Cordova. Okay, perfect. And additionally we have to come on come on include it as a dependency into our angular module okay fine for now so one thing you need to make sure is that you set uh, come on platforms ios the project um, you need to make sure your iOS project is ready for using HealthKit and therefore you need to go to your project and choose your target and go to capabilities and here's the HealthKit and just enable that. Okay, hopefully Xcode will take care of the rest. Yes, seems like everything worked fine. Okay, so now we can start with our actual app. I'm not sure why everything is red in here. Um, I don't care for now. Okay, so what we're we gonna do is change the title most important part of this tutorial no and our ng controller which we will create very soon the app controller and inside our content can give a tiny class it always looks better okay or to make it real positive <clears throat> okay 
So first we will have uh, input field which will set our body height and afterwards we will submit the height. Here's our input, it's just some text, we'll give it a placeholder, your height, and the scope variable, body.height, okay, so I guess, oh that's not a diff, that's a label, yes, sorry. Okay, and we need obviously a button to submit our height. Okay, so that's our first button. I'm not sure if I missed anything here. I'm Pretty sure this one, yes, that's that. I'm sorry. If you want the code, you can always check out my blog and just take it from there. If it's hard to follow here in this live tutorial. Well, I can't write input. So this part is to set our body height, as I said. And additionally, we will make another button which will give us the height back just in a simple popover. So it's just for them. Our get height function. Okay, and finally, the last thing we want to do is oh, come on, I copy this. The last thing we want to do is save a workout session. Let's say you made some sports, any activities, and you want to report a complete workout session with burned calories and stuff like that so that's also possible get workout data save workout and get workouts okay that looks fine for now okay let's go to our app.js the first thing we need to make sure is that we have um, that we have the permission to read and write the personal data of someone. So for that we need to check for the permissions and ask for them and we will do that in our ionic platform ready function. So we need to include the dependency. I hope I have no typo in here. And what we're gonna do is just check, or first of all check if it's available. And if that's fine, then we will make the permission request. So for our example, we want just one permission for now. You can always ask for the permissions when you actually uh, yeah, run the, the save hate or get hate or save workout and we will see it later on but you can also check it on the app startup so once for all time and yeah 
just do just do it like you need it okay so these identifiers you can find the link on my blog to all the Apple official identifiers so this is not a thing I came up with so this is HealthKit quantity type identifier hate okay long word okay so and again we will make is it right Cordova health kit yes and now we will request authorization obviously we will make it that way and we want read permissions for this and also write permissions so these two parameters are read and write and in the then we can do well, whatever you like you can handle the error like whatever and at this point you could handle if you're not having a health kit available on the device so that's no health kit okay perfect now I'm not sure yeah whatever we can remove them yes leave that for now okay so on startup our user will be asked for permissions to his body hate okay let's make our app controller add the dependencies for scope and the Cordova health kit and first of all we need our scope body and this has uh, just the hate so no hate for now uh -huh. oh. you strict whatever I don't know hell no I don't want this so our first function was to save our hate And again, we will call Cordova Health Kit Save Hate. And we give it the value of our hate in centimeters. As I'm from Europe, I'm using this. And, well, you can actually do whatever you want in the den function so um, yeah, well we could check for an error maybe or yeah. but we don't need to do anything inside there okay so this one will save our hate and the second one was to get our hate and it's pretty much very easy so to get our hate we again call Cordova health kit and now read hate and again centimeters then And at this point we will just make a simple alert because it's just to show you how everything's working. And we can also say the unit. Okay. I'm leaving out the error for now. I hope there will be no errors. So, 
alert is not defined okay whatever this linting of atom is uh, maybe I'll remove it sometimes it's not good okay so the last part was to store a workout session and that was save workout and guess what we call Cordova health kit save workout okay that will be a bit of data so you can check them out on the official page here are more quantifiers and all the functions we're using and well I can also just copy this as I'm a bit lazy now <clears throat> so in general you have an activity type and a quantity type you have a date and optional an end date or the duration that's up to you and the energy burned and the energy unit the distance and the distance unit so when we have saved this we can call another alert view or yes let's do that and we make it look good okay that should work well, we could uh, handle the error but I hope we will get no errors this time okay so that's pretty much everything you need to save a workout session that's awesome that could look a bit better the last one was to get workout data or get our workouts so this will return data for the workouts already submitted to the health kit app and oh no no I'm having it wrong okay the code over health kit and find workouts and the result will be displayed in an alert view again just to show you how everything's working okay no error handling for now and if I'm if I have made no errors at this point this could already work let's give it a try so if you're interested you can see all the examples here at the ng Cordova page for the health kit okay the simulator comes up so here's our app and as we have this permission dialog inside our ionic platform ready function this comes up and the didactic health app wants to write the hate and wants to read the hate so the user will be needs to give his permissions okay so let's say I'm 184 centimeters and I said that and we have not done yes okay that's fine let's try to get it and here's it perfectly working okay so next thing was to save a workout we will answer insert this and this is the point where we have not asked for these permissions so the Cordova health kit checks this and spins up this dialogue so as you can see you can always check for permissions on the fly okay so we ground them 
And we don't get a result. I'm not sure if this is good. I don't think so. Okay, well, we will see it. Let's try to get some workout data and again this comes up and this is uh, I guess that's today right so if you don't trust me you can also oh not close not the app but oh fuck it go to the health app and go to your health data and go to body measures height and as you can see today we added this little dot here so that is our hate today you can well every day insert your hate and have a nice grab at the end of the whatever end of your life okay so that was the first part and the second one is you can go to fitness and well we yes I guess we made active calories yeah and as we said well 300 I'm not sure well let's check out okay here are our workout sessions the two I submitted just some minutes ago so 300 active calories the date and the source so pretty much everything's working really smooth and well you're ready to make the next killer sports app with whatever Bluetooth device connected or so. So if you've done anything like that with a Bluetooth device or something similar, um, I would really love to hear about it. So leave a comment or join the discussion on my blog and always make sure to follow my blog. So thanks for listening and goodbye.